is the black and white checkerboard background. Here is the is one of my gray uh, checkerboards, two shades of gray. And here's a different shade of gray. And so look at these two, they're slightly different shades of gray, but I handpicked these shades of gray, a light gray and a dark gray in both cases. And they look interesting, but so does plain black and white. So I can choose these backgrounds. Um, and I have white pieces as a group. I have white pieces as a group here. I can turn them on and off. And I have black pieces as a group. I can turn them on and off. So I was working on duplicating the pieces here. So you see each chess piece is actually a, a layer and so are the backgrounds. So I can move the background around here. Now here's what you have to understand. The, this image here is 720 by 720 pixels exactly. And this is important because here, if you look at my um, configure grid, my grid is 90 pixels um, horizontally and vertically. So the idea here is that you that I'm snapping to this grid. So we have we have a grid there and you it's interesting because the the grid itself, let's see, am I showing the grid? Okay. It's hard to it's hard to even see the grid. Let let's turn off the background. And then let's see if we can actually view the grid. Um, okay, we're gonna configure the grid. Let's have a solid, okay, there's, there's the grid lines, okay. So the, you see there's the grid lines of the grid. Now if you look at my um, GIMP preferences here, um, you see that the snapping, I have it so that if I'm within 15 pixels of something, it's going to snap to the grid. So here we have the move tool. Now keep in mind, this is an image editing program. It has many tools. So for example, if I try to use the bucket fill tool, then I can like fill an, an area yeah, like that, see, but I don't really want to do that. Um, so it's it's interesting because like it's totally possible to fill a a background with a specific um, specific color. It's it's easy to do such a, a crazy thing. Um, I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to show a specific example here. Yeah, like that, changing the color. The main, the idea here is to not use any of the image editing tools, to use the move tool. I'm moving the pieces, and, and notice I can snap to either the center of the square or to the midpoints of lines. That's just the way GIMP seems to be working for me. So I can like move this pawn anywhere here, and I can make it snap perfectly into the chessboard here. So even if I turn off the background, we still see the grid lines. I'll just turn off the background right now while I'm working on editing the image. So you see, I had a pawn. See all these file names? These layers all came from files. There are actually SVG files. I loaded the SVG files um, of the Merida chess set. I, I, and it was installed as part of Liground, which is like a chess GUI, a graphical user interface for playing chess against a chess engine. So I have like I have like all these different pawns. Let's see here. Yeah, let's see. I'm okay. Wait, I feel like something is wrong here. Yeah, because I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. The idea here is. I can move these pawns and I have all the pawns I need. I can I can rename them all, but the actual name of them doesn't actually matter because you see what they are. So I need to duplicate these pieces. Okay, so we need another rook. So what I'm going to do is I have to duplicate the white rook. I'm going to duplicate the layer. So we have a copy of the white rook. We're going to duplicate the white bishop, and we're going to duplicate the 
white knight. Okay. Okay, there we are. Let's see. Duplicate layer. Okay. So now that we've done this, see, I duplicated the rook. So this rook, I moved that rook over to the other side, and then this rook is still here. And then we duplicated the knight. So I duplicated the knight, and I duplicated the bishop. So you see, now we have an entire chess set for the white pieces. Now I have to do the same thing for the black pieces, because they came from separate files. And see, I have folders. I have basically the layers. There's images within an image. So this isn't just one image. It's not a PNG file. It's an actual a GIMP project file. It's an XCF file, and it contains layers. So what you have to understand about this is that um, I have folders containing other layers. So what I need to do is let's um, duplicate this rook, then we will duplicate the knight, and then we will duplicate the, um, yeah, let's, okay, let's duplicate the bishop. So now let's, let's move this. So let's copy the bishop over here and the knight over here and the rook over there. And see, we, we only have one pawn on the black side. So this means I have to duplicate the pawn multiple times. So duplicate, um, okay, what? And then let's see, actually, because I wonder if there's a way to repeat, repeatedly duplicate. I don't know. I think I just have to um, keep duplicating, duplicate, duplicate. Duplicate. There's pro I don't I don't think I have a sh keyboard shortcut for duplicating a layer, but that's fine because I only need to do this once. So here we go. We have duplicate layer there. So now we've duplicated the layers. So let's try um, that, that, that. Okay. There we go. We've duplicated the pawns. Wait, do we have enough pawns? Okay, yeah, we do have enough pawns. So we have eight pawns on each side. We have two rooks, knights, bishops, and a king and a queen on each side. So this is an image editing program. So you have to understand that I can move like this black king anywhere, even to the center of the squares, which is not right in chess, but I can do it because this is an image editing program. This is super cool. 